ASCHE, I think, has really been a leader among organizations in promoting LGBTQ inclusion. Every organization is looking to hire the most talented engineers. If any group of engineers feels excluded from the company, that, that is an opportunity lost. We need to be welcoming to everybody so that everybody is doing their best to contribute to advancing our projects and our goals. We have to retain this talent in our profession and we can do that by creating a more inclusive environment where all students feel welcome and where all students can contribute to their fullest potential. Responding to bias is, is a really important thing that an ally can do. Allies are really critically important. I've learned uh, through my own experiences. If an LGBT is struggling with their situation or workplace, whether it's a policy thing or just engaging a coworker, you know, I think an ally can really engage in different ways than LGBT can. We would not be able to get anywhere if not for our friends and allies. You know, just being open about their allyship. So when topics come up around LGBTQ issues, expressing their opinions, all those sorts of things are useful in the workplace. I would recommend being visible about being an ally. That's really, really important. Try to engage everybody when you're going out to lunches or dinners and just having the normal social conversation. If you see somebody is maybe a little bit reticent uh, to be engaged, you know, open them, draw them into the conversation and show them that you're comfortable when they do open up and start to share more of themselves. Every great leader needs to have a team and to build and maintain that team, you need to be looking for the best engineers and you can't get the best engineers if, if you are excluding people or you're sending the message that they don't feel welcome. So if you want to lead your, your team to greatness, you, you really need to be drawing from all the, the engineers that you possibly can. Leaders are responsible for creating an inclusive environment for everybody. They're responsible for modeling inclusive behavior, promoting inclusive practices and policies. They provide resources for training, education, um, sometimes facilitation if needed, if things are, are getting challenging with the team. I think we are making progress. You know, I, I, I think, especially in the area of LGBTQ inclusion, um, there's still a long way to go, but we've definitely moved the needle. I mean, this is something that really wasn't on the radar 20 years ago. In the decades past, I'm just so heartened to be able to tell my students that things have really changed, that uh, if they go into the workplace and they encounter problems, it's not anymore the case that they're, it's their problem. Now it's something that the leadership will come together and find a solution and the solution is going to be that they should be included. We have the full support of AICHE and we have people willing to be out at these events and to be seen you know, at the mixers and not worried about whether they're perceived as LGBTQIA uh, or if they're an ally. They don't worry about it. We are all experts in process control and that's what the world is. Uh, we can take those measurements and make that change and make this a better environment for LGBTQ individuals.